Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1 faced tons of backlash over its lazy bait-and-switch story, bad character progression, terrible-looking character designs, and every little jab Kevin Smith made towards He-Man fans. But Part 2 is finally out, and after months of rumors that maybe they'd fix Season 1's mistakes, they decided to double down on the strong, independent women and keep kicking He-Man to the side. I have a couple of different things that I want to show off, primarily abounding into comics article and the Rotten Tomato scores for this show. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I want to give everyone a spoiler alert. I am going to be talking about spoilers from part one and also part two because I, as a He-Man fan, am really disappointed with the direction they've gone in, but it says despite numerous deflections from defenders of the He-Man, Tila, Bait, and Switch seen in the first part of Masters of the Universe Revelation, the critics would likely see the hero return to prominence in the second half of the Revival series. Its official premiere revealed that Kevin Smith and Netflix have continued to sideline the franchise's central protagonist, this time shifting the story's attention as previously confirmed by Smith to Evelyn. He did confirm a couple of months ago that part two was going to be all about Evelyn and Tila. He basically admitted that the story was going to center around these two characters, and lo and behold, it's true. It says that picking up where the last season left off, with Skeletor having used the Power Sword to upgrade himself to the new Skelegod form, He-Man first appears in the premiere episode of Part 2, though in the form of Prince Adam rather than the iconic hero. Unable to transform into He-Man due to his lack of the Power Sword, he spends most of the episode in his regular form, only to end the episode by attempting to channel the power of Grayskull without the necessary conduit, which results in his transformation into a Hulk-like brute form known as Savage He-Man. The second episode thus sees Tila and Nandra hunting down Savage He-Man, only for him to ultimately be returned to normal after his father tells him that he's proud of him. They didn't focus on this cool storyline and all these cool characters. No, no, they focused on all the characters embracing their feelings in this season. Reverting back to Prince Adam, the former Masters of the Universe protagonist proceeds to take a backseat for the next two episodes, taking time to work out his respective personal issues with his mother and Tila, while simultaneously delegating himself to a supportive member for Eternia's forces in a fight against a Power of Greyskull-powered Evelyn. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the direction they went in not making the story about He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. No, no. They made the story about all the strong, independent women they could. If they had to take one or two episodes to make them about other characters to flesh out their backstories, I think we'd all understand that, but they literally did everything they could to make the show about all of these different women, about Tila, about Evelyn, and they threw He-Man to the side completely, which is so disappointing, and this is the new Evelyn, a power of Grayskull powered Evelyn. It is literally completed <laughs> with the SJW haircut. Now, wow. I didn't think that this show could get this bad, truly, genuinely. We all thought that Tila looked bad in part one, but Evelyn looks even worse. I just, I truly don't understand how they went into this saying, yes, this looks good. This is exactly what people want to watch. This is what fans are going to click on the show to see. This looks awful. 
This design is just terrible. I don't actually think the cape looks bad. I think the cape is the best thing out of this whole freaking design. And the outfit itself isn't bad either, but it's the character that it's on top of. It's the body and the model that this outfit is on top of, which just makes it look awful. I just, I can't believe they even put the cherry on top with this SJW haircut. I mean, I hate this Justin Bieber haircut. I think that this oh, overall is just, this is a disaster. This is so disappointing disappointing to see that this is the best character design that they could come up with. I've talked about Revelation several times here on the channel, and I'm so disappointed. I like seeing strong women in shows and movies, and I wanted this show to be good, but they literally pushed male characters to the side to make room for the women, so that the females could be the focus and not even the original characters that people loved. Twisted versions of Tila and Evelyn. I hate the mentality that Hollywood has where they think no one's gonna take a character seriously unless she basically looks like a man, and as you can see, that's literally what they've done here and it definitely backfired on Netflix and we all thought that Tila looked bad in part one but Hevelin looks just as bad if not worse and of course right now part two is already getting terrible reviews of course it's only been out a couple of days so there aren't um, a ton of reviews here but I did want to show off the scores of course the critic rating is a hundred percent and I'm sure it's gonna stay that way because part one was 100% almost as well, but the audience score is already a 47%. It's already considered rotten. So there are quite a few four and five stars here, but there are tons of one and two stars. Somebody said animation was top notch, but the story, where to begin? To take Skelegod and have Evelyn degrade herself to want to romp with him only to backstab Skeletor as female empowerment seems to be the exact opposite. Too much focus on mommy-daddy issues for most of the characters and too little of He-Man himself, who only properly was featured at the end. For every good idea or interesting twist the show had it found many ways to ruin it moments later. Someone gave it half a star and said if you are hoping to get He-Man nostalgia, save yourself the disappointment and watch something else. The animation is still top notch, but the story, what a shame. And I actually said this with part one. I thought the animation was super freaking great. And the voice actors were great choices as well. Mark Hamill, Lena Headey, great voice acting cast. But unfortunately, the story was just terrible. People are saying things like, it's okay, but far from great, there's just too many just because moments where things get resolved or done with no explanation or logical reasoning. Tons of half stars on the next pages. It's better than the first part. The story mainly focuses on Tila and Evelyn, so if you're looking for mainly He-Man action, this ain't it. Slight build-up for the next possible season, and hopefully they do my man He-Man justice. This show, like the title says, is about the crew, not just He-Man. The whole thing gets a solid 2 out of 5. Um, people are saying things like, loved it, unbelievably good, and hey, if you like this part, that's great, good for you. I don't want content to come out and have it be a disaster, but in my opinion, Opinion, Revelation has been a complete nightmare as a He-Man fan so far. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. If you watched it, let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.